Hi everyone, I'm Britt, and of course we've got Bailey here as well. Hi guys. Hey Bailey, how's it going? We're good. We're doing good over here. And Moon Buddy. And Moon Buddy. Amazing. So thanks for joining us everyone for this week. Um, we're super excited to uh, have you tuning in again. And of course we're going, we decided like we're having fun. So why not? Let's keep this wine tradition going. So why not? Cheers, Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, so before we get started here about the episode, we, as promised, uh, did want to go ahead and oh, my mouse, my mouse is not working. There we go. Um, we did want to go ahead and um, have some shout outs to some of our favorite comments. I feel like we're just going to, we're going to do this because you guys are giving us great comments. Yeah. So on our last reaction video, which was season two, episode five, um, as always, great comments from Darsh. Very nice. Celestial Citizen merch for the win. Um, love it. And um, looking for longer videos as well. We got a number of comments about that, Bailey. Um, yeah. we, I, they just love us. I know. Just can't get enough, I guess. <laughs> have. Um, but yeah, no. And also longer clips. So longer clips yep. of the show, which we... We are, um, check out this, well, by the time you watch this video, you'll probably have already watched the other one, but we're working on it, basically. Um, the video on. that's coming out this Saturday is going to, uh, is going to have more clips from the show. So we hear you, people. We hear you. We love your feedback, and we're going to try to integrate it. So, yeah, we're trying to make it happen. Um, and so, yeah, so we had Robin um, also kind of said the same thing there. And um, let's talk about Johnny Doe for a second. Let's talk about Johnny Doe. Yeah. Okay, Johnny Doe. We are really happy about this. You made our day. We put it out there into the universe that we wanted a poem. You delivered. We're gonna read it live here. Um, Johnny Doe wrote. I feel like I need to like cue some nice music here. I know. Well, we need to add it in. Yes. Okay. Maybe we can add in some like really nice flowery music. It's almost Valentine's Day, so this is really fitting. It is. Um, Mars is red. Earth is blue. I like watching your reaction videos for For All Mankind Season 2. Well done, Johnny Doe. Yes, snap wow. all around. Wow, um, what a poet. Yeah, that's really solid work. I, I love it, and you delivered, so thank you. Um... And then we also have it's Zach who says you guys should react to the expanse. What do you think, Bailey? I absolutely love that idea. I think that'd be super fun. Um, I need to start clearing more nights of the week to watch <laughs> stuff with you, Britt, apparently. <laughs> but I love the idea. We we can figure this out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, look, we're gonna be wrapping on For All Mankind pretty soon. And we might have some time before season three starts. Have they set a date yet? I think. I think mm -hmm. not yet. Yeah. So we're still kind of, we're waiting on that season three date. So, um, yeah, expanse, uh, let us know guys, if there's anything else that, uh, any other shows, space shows, science shows that you really, uh, feel like it would be fun to do this with us. Um, we always love to react to stuff. So we're very reactive. Yeah. yeah. Reactive. Yes. Sometimes we try to be proactive. But it doesn't go well. <laughs> so instead, we're reactive. Just kidding. We're very reactive. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So now let's talk about the episode. Okay. So this is uh, season two, episode seven. Is that right? Yeah. Episode seven. Um, Don't be cruel. That's Like I said, that's an Elvis song. I love Elvis. That's an Elvis song. I'm curious to see how this goes. So last thing before we hit play, what is our drinking word of the day? I don't know, I'm blanking Brit. Something space related. How about that? I well, I was actually gonna go with inappropriate. Inappropriate. Because I feel like this episode is gonna be inappropriate. Very inappropriate. Here we go, people. Don't be cruel. Also being held against my will, unable to go home. Thomas Paine was killed, Sergey. Along with two hundred and sixty-eight others. That's why we're here. Also, his accommodations are a lot better than Danny's, so Yeah. yeah. To heaven. He's got a ring on. But it's on his right hand, not his left. Maybe it's true. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Look at you, eagle eyes. You're always... Is that his purity ring? When you get me the telephone, I will call Moscow. I'm going to say it's his purity ring. 
It was another day of dramatic developments in the case of the plane shot from the sky, the shooting down of Korean Airlines Flight 007. The Soviets admitted for the first time one of their fighters shot down the jumbo jet and the 269 I know. I was like, people isn't it a little ironic given that they can get potentially they like know that it was a civilian airliner. The United States reacts with mm -hmm. revulsion. Maybe without the moon landing, 007 James Bond never existed. We don't know. I think it existed before 1969. Uh, I was gonna say, I think it's been around for a while, Bailey. Life. You're here. Alive. With me. And I'm so damn grateful that you are. Where did you get these? Okay, but can we talk about her shirt real quick? That's confidential, Anna. Look at that. Look at that bow. <laughs> this is so bow. Okay, anyways, it's big like serious missiles. Sorry. Orbiters big scary exactly weapons. Alike. Okay. That's what happens. No. But I do know that this thing has the potential to be armed for use against us. I understand both things. Why would you help them? But they're going to kill people. Oh my gosh. But if they decide to use Baron as a weapon at some point in the future, that's their choice. We have a choice right now to save human lives. Wow. Dozens oh of my civilians, God. engineers, this is scientists this is Apollo 1. that could be killed. We With have the, the power to prevent that. I'm not right. A lot of civilians' lives could be at risk. I don't know. Community, people watching us right now, what would you do if you were in Margot's shoes? What would you do? We want to know. Tell us in the comments. What would you do? I would always go in favor of saving civilian lives. But I need the full picture. They don't know for sure that they would use it against them. Look, all I'm saying, if, if we're going to look at things suspiciously, their docking mechanism, where it's the same thing, that would make it easy for Russia to dock to an American whatever. If that was the plan from the beginning. I couldn't sit on that information. With the trinkets in the case, it's worth at least that much, plus it's only gonna appreciate over time. 375. 390. Sold. <laughs> this actually just happened, just over. Do it with your head up. There's some real uh, humanity there. Yeah, he's a complex individual, that one. A lot to take away from that. Also, oh, she's... he left- Oh, she got a knife now. That's got to be calculated. There's no way he did that on accident. <sighs> okay, Bailey, Nerd. did that work? Nerd. Nice trick. I have no idea. I don't know if you... I think you have to move it pretty quick. I don't know. See, kids, if you're watching, which I, I don't know, there probably shouldn't be kids watching this, but if you are and you want to become an engineer, you can figure out how to get stuff out of vending machines. Before I change my mind. The perks are... Limitless. That's the pitch we're going with, Britt. <laughs> <laughs> we're also moving up the retaking of Lunar Claim Site 357 Bravo. It will happen within 48 hours. Whoa. Oh my god. But what? It's still daylight up there. They're the going to war. The idea was That's to use the thing. cover of Lunar Night. Well, Jesus. I had to oh my go god. meeting. But I hope to see you again. Yes, I hope so, too. Oh my gosh, I love those two. I really do. There's no way those two are getting together though, right? I mean, there's no way. Oh, he's got a purity ring. I don't think he wants it. He's got know. a purity ring. Bailey, I feel like there's other things at play right now than the purity ring. <laughs> but we have reestablished contact with two American How heroes. How do they make that look so Astronauts realistic? Astronauts Daniel Poole and Nate Morrison who were being I have no idea. In the Soviet Union after the <laughs> no <Korean> idea. <laughs> history is as How did they see the eye that? Of our own time. Look what much she did. We have already given. Much more That's we must right. Be... Thank you. God oh. bless you. And God bless America. Don't make the moon violent. Oh, jeez. That little LCM. He's in line. Five meters. That is a Steady finicky five little instrument Steady. there. We have canyon entrance. Hang on out there. Some oh yeah, that's why we need the best test pilot. Uh, that drilling rig wasn't on the sat map. Should we Ooh. 
Ooh. Negative going down range. They're literally just invading. They're literally just. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be causing damage to all the equipment down there? Also, Probably. like, yeah, those it people. It looks like you're gonna have to drop and go, though. Two meters kicking up a lot of dust. No kidding. Like, they're just like, what is this? Like. Someone call Phil Metzger. We've got some lunar dust. Tracy Stevens. You're we got some questions for you, Phil. Yeah. <gasps> Dr. Metzger, sorry, sir. Not good, but the scene was badass. Ooh, ooh, the next episode is And Here's to You. Is that like a nod to like And Here's to You, Mrs. Robinson? Oh, I actually, I, I'm behind it. I mean, I don't know. I think that could be what they were going for there. But we will find out. Karen is certainly acting like it. Um, wow. Wow. What an episode, Bailey, right? I can't even, in my head, remember all the action that happened. There were so many things to talk about. So many things. Like, we started out the episode, KL007 goes down. And then it was like, yeah. it was just like full speed from there. We had lots of drama, you know, back Earth side. But then to end the episode with like, yeah, they like take over their little mining operation there. So why? Did we follow? I mean, that's what I, who Ellen said, that that was what she instructed the president to do, right? Mm-hmm. But why? Well, like, what was always, the logic there? They were always planning on doing it. They just need a reason. Yeah, because they were saying that they were going to do it during the lunar night, which is interesting. Let's talk about that for a second, Bailey. And I think our yeah. followers will like this. Okay. So we've got like the lunar night, right? Which is a two week period. Yeah. Okay. So basically, it's very interesting to think about in a, in a bad way, like I'll, you know, say. But it's very interesting to think about, like, what kind of nefarious activities are people going to get up to in the lunar night? So, yeah, let, let's unpack this a little bit for, for our viewers. So we've got the lunar day and the lunar night, and each of them are about 14 days. That's why we have, you know, 28 days in the face of the moon and that kind of stuff. If you actually are on the moon, there's um, 14 days of lunar day, 14 days of lunar night. Lunar day has sunlight, not all the time, but it has sunlight and such. Lunar night is pretty much all night like it it gets very cold it just has to do with the orbit of everything it gets really cold it gets really dark and the fact that they were planning so a big power move would be to do stuff during the lunar night because as of right now our technology cannot necessarily survive the lunar night like it would have to go into hi hibernation um save the battery power there's no solar panel for like energy or anything like that um so for them to for the U.S. to claim they have the ability to attack, to actually have their things operational during the lunar night is huge. We we can't do that right now, from my understanding. So, I mean, it would have been honestly more impressive if they attacked during the lunar night. I would have been like, whoa. But, yeah, you're right. Like, So, lunar day is the only thing that makes sense right now. But if they were planning to attack during the lunar night, why did they go during the day? Like, oh, but, oh my gosh, there's such a vulnerability. If they're, if they're lunar night, right? Like, Russia would be shut down trying to do power saving mode. So like, that's a big move. It's really interesting to think about like how these dynamics could potentially like play out in the future. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's interesting. Like, why did they move it up? So, I mean, obviously, yes, like the, the plane being shot down feels like things like tensions obviously escalated as a result of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but is it that they're concerned about the like weaponization of the um, of the rocket that they were talking about? Like that's the one that's like supposed to go to Mars, right? Like they said that they basically copied. Did I understand that right? Is that how you interpreted that? Yeah, from my understanding, it's what Pathfinder is a nuclear shuttle, and basically somehow Russia got the exact plans and created the same thing. Um, put a missile in the cargo bay, just like the U.S. said they could do, but they weren't planning on doing it. So basically, Russia's able to do all this. Russia doesn't know about the Challenger O-ring thing, so that's why Margot dropped that information. But what is, I don't... Which you would think if they have all this other intel, they'd know that, right? Like, how do they get all this other, you know, 
information about down to like the specs. Doing, yeah well but not that one piece they said that the designs that they recovered were from two years ago and my guess is this challenger thing happened in under two years ago so it's like oh true you're their right information yeah. Was old. yeah yeah that's a good point but, and where did, and like how did they get the information? Was it like a mole on the inside? Oh, like, 100%. Yeah. I don't know if we'll yeah. ever know who that was. Yeah. So yeah, all right, Bailey, let's see. Predictions for the next episode. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, goodness. Um, well, obviously fallout from them invading the moon. This is the first act of war on the moon. Mm. I don't even know what that fallout's going to be. So my guess, honestly, with something like that, I think I kind of alluded to it. It's either they got the astronauts back from Russia and then they invaded the moon, or mm -hmm. the astronauts are in transit when they invade the room and Russia's going to lock it down and not give them back. And, and Danny's stuck in Russia. Ooh. It depends on the timing, for sure. Interesting. All right, well, we will, we will see what happens next week. We I'm going to need way more wine. Very disappointed though. We've had like zero luck with our drinking word though, right? Last two maybe weeks. Like, maybe space or rocket go really you know easy. What? Okay, here's another thing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there. Put it in the comments, people. Give us what our word should be for the next episode. Yeah, yeah. And That's we'll another thing it. we can do. We can pick a word yeah. based off of what you guys think. And let let yeah. us hear your predictions as well. What do you think is gonna happen? Yeah. But no spoilers if you already know. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm the only one that doesn't know. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, tune in next week to uh, see our reactions to Season 2, Episode 8, titled And Here's to You. Woo! All right. Bye, everyone.